Am I the asshole for reporting my mom for identity fraud? I, 24M. And my girlfriend put in an application to rent a condo and found out my mom borrowed $43,000 with my social insurance. I talk with a lawyer and he tells me I can either report my mom for identity fraud or pay it off, or declare bankruptcy. I confront my mom and she begs me not to do it and just pay off the debt. I don't have anywhere near that money and decide to do what the lawyer recommended. The lawyer told me filling out the police report is not the same as pressing charges but I'm still scared what might happen to her. We used to be very poor and she used my social insurance to pay the bills and provide for me and my brother. This feels like I'm betraying her and her and my brother refuse to speak to me. My relatives all stop talking to me. Am I the ashole here? Edit. People are asking me if my mom or family could pay it. I don't think so my mom is on social assistance and my family isn't much better off. My grandma has a house but I'm not asking her to sell it. Also my lawyer said a police report is just to get the ball rolling on clearing up the debts and recovering my credit. It doesn't include her name. Lawyer said providing suspect is not necessary. But I'm sure if they tried they would figure out it's her. My mom might face charges but it's unlikely she would get jail time. Not the asshole. 43,000 is a serious sum. You could consider not doing it if she paid that debt off if you were feeling okay with that solution. But it's unlikely to happen if everyone, including her, thinks you should be the one to do it. Do they think you're just going to pull that money out of a hat? There are always going to be feelings hurt because family, but is it what family would do, to put someone in debt by committing a fraud? Nope nope nope. Not the asshole. Your mom committed fraud and left you owing 43k to the government. I know things can get desperate for people sometimes, but the fact that she didn't tell you. She hasn't made attempts to pay it back, work with you to pay it back. That shows she's not taking responsibility for her actions. Let me as you this. If it was anyone besides your mother what would you do? Not the asshole. Fraud is fraud. It's horribly short-sighted to put your child into debt like that. Not the asshole. She should have talked to you about it, not do it in secret. My mill made tons of debt on my significant other and BIL's name, on her ex-husband's, even on her dead mother's, my significant other lost some job opportunities on some occasions when applying to work at banks here in Brazil, because her mom made debt in her name without consulting first. No matter the reason, using a relative's name to borrow money is never acceptable without consent. NTA, you're not talking a few hundred dollars you're talking thousands. She wasn't even apologetic about what she did. She also didn't tell you she did this, she waited until you found out on your own, and instead of trying to fix it she just tells you to pay it off. She only cares about not getting in trouble, she committed a crime. She deserves punishment or what is going to stop her from doing it again. You also might want to see if she did the same thing to your brother. Not the asshole she put you into 50k worth of debt, she chose to do this rather than finding other avenues out there to help her raise you. She screwed you so hard. Continue with criminal charges, she probably did the same to your brother. 100% not the asshole, my mom begs me not to do it and just pay off the debt, it would be one thing if she was begging to pay it off herself and setting up a payment plan etc, but she's asking you to pay it? Absolutely not, in what world should you be paying for $43,000 that she stole under your social insurance? I'd file the report and press charges ASAP. Not the asshole. She didn't even tell you she did that. You had to find out when you're 24 years old and applying for a condo? For her to keep that a secret and hope that you never find out isn't only stupid and irresponsible, it justifies reporting it. That's a lot of money. We're not talking about only a couple of thousand dollars here. She was an adult and no matter the reasons behind it, she should have told you herself and made payments to you to repay it. The haters will come after me on this but this is how I see it. Am I the asshole for losing my cool at someone yet again blocking access to my driveway? I live in a lovely house with a driveway. Unfortunately this lovely house is on a little cul-de-sac right beside a primary school. I say unfortunately because every day I HVE some idiots completely blocking my driveway while they pick up their kids. Now I have two young children myself who attend a different school so I'm well aware of the struggles of parking while picking up and dropping off. However my children's school finishes I would guess about 20 minutes earlier than one beside us because I always have to wait roughly 10 minutes at the top of the road before my driveway is clear. I have spoken to numerous people and politely requested they don't park directly in front of the driveway dropped curb with a white line. Today however I lost it a bit, 
My friend picked my son up from school so I could wait in for the company picking up a skip we have. Someone blocked my drive, they couldn't access the skip so left. Won't be back until Monday. I confronted the woman who had blocked the drive and she was quite entitled. The usual I've only been here for five minutes. Nothing wrong with parking across a dropped curb once no vehicles in the drive is what she said to me, and she reckoned plenty of room to fit past her if needed. My friend arrived with my son and what do you know, she couldn't fit past this lady's car. I took pictures and reported it to the council. Am I the asshole? I've been feeling a bit guilty for being so harsh but in the other hand I'm fed up of not being able to access my own drive. Not the asshole it's literally illegal to block driveways, while it being empty is somewhat of an exempt she's clearly got no spatial awareness and nobody should be blocking a driveway anyways. Not the asshole, this is an illegal move. I suggest that you call your local council and ask them to send parking inspectors out during school pickups. The council will make a lot in fines doing this and you'll get your driveway back, hopefully. Not the asshole. Call the school and speak to the principal. Ask them to put out notice that they need to be courteous to the neighbors and going forward the police will be called instead of you asking politely. Not the asshole. This is a pet hate of mine. I park a five-minute walk away from my son's school and on the walk to collect them I see this and it really grips my shit. Take pictures and report every time. Once a week the road the school opens onto has one of those little camera cars catching people but I reckon it should be every day. I have seen a certain house use a old solid cement bag left on the edge of their dropped curb which prevents people parking over it. Whether they done it or not I don't know but it works and the council is too lazy to collect it. Not the asshole I live close to a school and think the entitlement is ridiculous to park in front of someone's driveway and block them in, out. What would happen if you posted a sign that stated very clearly that anyone who blocks your driveway will be towed away? If legal I'm sure you could find a local tow operator willing to stop by at the right time each day to pick up some extra tows. I had this problem where I lived a few years ago. Every day, we took photos of the car's parking and their license plate sent them to the school and to parking enforcement. The car owners got sent tickets in the mail. It never really stopped, but at least they had to pay fines. NTA but you're very restrained. I'd have been livid and done far more than what you did. Am I the asshole for firing my sister as my son's babysitter after how she reacted when he got sick? My son is five and the whole babysitting gig was a favor for my sister since she said she really needed the money. My son's mom only has him every other weekend so most of the time he's with me. My sister quit her job over two months ago due to them cutting back on her hours so she was looking for work. She asked me and then I was urged by my parents to let her get paid to care for my son, I didn't see a problem with that so I agreed. On Monday I got home early and I could hear my son crying upstairs. My sister was scolding him and my son was pulling the sheets off his bed. She told me they had gotten hot dogs earlier when she took him to the park. One of the first things I told her is street food, especially hot dogs or pizza, make him sick easily so I already wasn't happy about that. My son complained about his tummy hurting then he threw up all over his bed. So she was mad at him for not telling her sooner and making a mess all over his bed. My sister didn't want to touch the vomit so that's why she was making him do it. My son was still crying so I had to console him, not before I told her to get out. After I got my son cleaned up and calmed him down I called my sister later on to give her a piece of my mind for behaving that way with my son when he was already freaked out. And if this is how she's going to react in a situation like that then I don't want her watching him at all. She was apologetic at first but when I wouldn't change my mind she was furious. My sister reminded me of her situation and asked if I'm really willing to put her through this financial hardship over this. We haven't spoken since but she gave me an earful on the kind of person she thinks I am. My son's comfort is my top priority. I understand she's my sister and her life is hard right now so it's complicated. I don't trust her not to be this way when I'm not around since I only caught this because I got home early. Am I the asshole? Your sister made a five-year-old clean up his own vomit. Not the asshole. Your sister is an awe. I have two kids. Nine and five. I don't even make the nine yo clean up her own vomit she's a kid. I'm the parent and the adult. I do it, or my wife does it, whoever gets there first. And we take care of the kid and do what we can to make them feel better, calm down. Your sister was not only a bad sitter, she was objectively cruel to her nephew. She shouldn't be anywhere near children. Not the asshole. But omg what? She made a five-year-old clean his own vomit. Jesus actual fuck. I.
Listen I am 26. If my girlfriend vomited in the bed. She is too sick. She is not cleaning that up. I am. The only time I have cleaned my vomit is when I was living by myself. And honestly, the only time someone I live with will clean their vomit is if I am not there. That is basic human decency. If they could not stop themselves till they could reach the toilet, they are too sick. Hangovers are maybe exceptions depending on situation but then everyone joins in on cleaning later. She made a sick five-year-old clean her vomit omg. This is insane. This is child abuse. Not the asshole. If you want to be paid to babysit, you have to be prepared for dealing with vomit. She is not capable of looking after a child. Jesus Christ, not the asshole. I am an aunt and I can never imagine doing something like this to my nieces. They have peed, pooped, and puked all over me and I can never even imagine making them clean up or not taking care of them when they're sick. Of course you're clearly not the asshole. Five-year-olds will vomit. What was she thinking? If she was concerned about her financial situation she'd have taken the duties you were. Pyong her for a bit more seriously. Not the asshole. Who makes a five-year-old kid, with GI issues, clean up their own vomit? Great way to end up with more vomit. Not the asshole. Your son's health and well-being is your top priority. What if he'd choked on his vomit or the hot dog itself? Hot dogs are in the top five choking hazards for children. Has she been trained in first aid and CPR for children? I'm a nurse so if you're going to hire anyone to watch your five-year-old son, make sure they're trained for emergencies. Your sister sounds like she's impatient and a bit mean, which can escalate over time. You did the right thing. Not the asshole sad face. I'm so sorry you're in this weird situation but you are absolutely right your child's welfare is most important and sister sounds like she could be very irresponsible with his care as well as having an anger problem. Judging by scolding him for vomiting and making him pull the sheets off. Ask yourself this, if this wasn't your sister, would you feel at all torn about whether to fire this person or not? You would never want to see them again, I'm sure. So please don't be hard on yourself or compromise your child's safety, which you rightfully decided not to do, just because your sister needs help. Is it possible for you to find something else for your sister to do so that you continue to pay her something to help her financial situation? Am I the asshole for saying no to babysitting for my dad while he's on honeymoon? My, 20 male, dad and I are not close. He raised me solo after my mom died when I was 9. We were good before but we became very just distant in the years that followed. I moved out when I was 18 and that was when he met his fiance. They moved in together last year but I am still yet to meet them. They're getting married in June and honeymooning straight after and my dad told me he and his fiance want me to stay at the house with her two kids, 10 and 13, while they're gone for a week. I said no. He said it would be a great way to get to know them and they'd pay me of course. I told him I was planning to leave the day after the wedding. He brought up family and I said his getting married changes nothing. I won't be any closer emotionally to them than I currently am and I'm not suddenly going to play big brother to his wife's kids or act like we're going to be big parts of each other's lives. The truth is he and I talk maybe once every four months. I haven't seen him in more than 18 months. There's just no reason to change it. He thinks I'm a dick and I should be willing to help out and spend the time so I can bond. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. He's using you as a cheap babysitter and using family bonding to delude himself into thinking that there is good reason to force you to babysit. Really, he should hire a babysitter. Not the asshole. It's odd to even ask you in the first place when you've never even met them. And I'm looking sideways at his wife. Dot how on earth could she be comfortable leaving her kids for a week with someone she has never met? Not the asshole. Dad. You haven't seen me in a year and a half, and we speak roughly once every four months. You've never introduced me to your partner or her kids. As such, I'm incredulous that after you ignore me a majority of the time you expect me to take time off work, college, whatever to be a babysitter for kids who don't know me, and I don't know them. Relationships aren't a one-way street, you can't just ignore my existence for months at a time and then expect favors. Where does this entitlement come from? First you haven't seen him in the two years since you left. You haven't met the fiancé, nor the children, and he just expects you to drop everything for a week and babysit some strangers? Even throw in some bucks, because money does a fine job to compensate lack of an emotional connection. He could have at least tried to make an effort to connect and meet beforehand, Christmas, birthdays, random family field trip to visit, or any other little effort in two whole years. 
Seems he just wants some alone time with the wife and emotionally blackmailing the estranged son is the best way to obtain it. Not the asshole dude. A woman you've never met is planning on leaving her two kids with a stranger for a week because it's cheap, and their stepfather sees no problem with that? I would have to say you are not the asshole, and those two should have their heads examined. Where's the kid's father? I'm sure he'd be thrilled to find that out. Nah, honestly. Nothing wrong with him asking. Nothing wrong with you declining. Even if I'd have said, sure, for $1,500, and taken $1,000. I am cracking up at all the tweens baffled at the idea that someone would be alright with having a responsible 20-year-old, whom their spouse knows and trusts, watching their 10 and 13-year-old for a week. Like, have y'all never heard of summer camp? Not the asshole. It's completely unreasonable of him to ask this of you, and it's a huge ask at that. Also nothing against you, but these kids don't know you either. It would likely be just as strange and uncomfortable for them to have a stranger baby sit them for a whole week. He needs to figure something else out because being your father does not automatically entitle him to your help. Not the asshole. He should have made more of an effort to stay in contact with you if he was going to ask favors like that. Nah, he just wants a sitter so he can go on honeymoon stress-free.